I put everything I had into this case because I just couldn't believe it. I mean, this is this is probably the worst case I've ever worked. Miles, who didn't want his last name used, is a private investigator who says he was hired by a bail bond insurer to help locate this wanted fugitive, 37-year-old Fernando Maldonado. The former Bay Area church pastor was convicted in December on 23 counts of sexual abuse against a 13-year-old girl. He was arrested in 2015 and released on $1.29 million bail. Several family members and church parishioners putting up their homes as collateral. But on December 11th, during his trial, Maldonado, along with his wife and two children, fled to Mexico. So it was a total of six houses, um, and he, he completely absconded and left them to dry. Miles and his team worked very closely with law enforcement. He says they were able to determine Maldonado's exact location south of the border. He was in the state of Guanajuato. A few months prior to his trial beginning, there was a trip that his family members took. We thought that was a little odd. Um, we saw this by, you know, reviewing some things that we saw on the Internet. And uh, they had a bunch of pictures. They looked like they were happy. Well, that's exactly where he was found. They went down and probably prepared a place for him. Miles gave that information to U.S. Marshals, who took Maldonado into custody Tuesday night. He provided us this grainy cell phone video he says was taken at the moment of the arrest. I took this very personal. Um, this is that one. I had to get it. And we worked our butts off to get it done. Maldonado was extradited to Los Angeles and is currently being held in the men's central jail. For Miles, who prefers to be called a fugitive recovery agent instead of a bounty hunter, it's all in a day's work. There's a stigma attached to the word bounty hunter in this industry, and it's sad because I've never felt more fulfilled than I do when we do our jobs. Stephanie Stanton, Fox 11 News.